Hello guys, hope you have been having a great day. So in this video, we learn how to find out the phase crossover frequency and the gain margin from a transfer function without actually plotting the Bode plot. So in your exam, sometimes you might ask you to find out the gain and phase margins from the given transfer function. And the marks that are uh, assigned to that may not be high. So in those cases, you actually don't want to draw the Bode plot and derive these things. You want to do them directly because body plot is going to take hell a lot of time. So by using simple formula you can find out the phase crossover frequency, the gain margin, the gain uh, crossover frequency and the phase margin. So in this video we'll be doing just that. So first I have a transfer function g of s is equal to 1 by s into 1 plus 2s into 1 plus s. So, the first step I'm going to do is put s is equal to j omega. So, let me rewrite this transfer function, which is going to be g of j omega is equal to 1 by j omega into 1 plus 2j omega into 1 plus j omega. And now, just simplify the expression, which will give you, uh, let me write down, which will give you 1 by j omega into 1 plus j omega plus, um, plus 2j omega plus 2j square omega square, which is going to be 1 by j omega into 1 plus 3j omega minus 2 omega square. So now multiply it again, simplify it further. So this is equal to 1 by j omega plus uh, 3j square omega square minus 2j omega cube. So I can write that as 1 by j omega minus 3 omega square minus 2 j omega cube. So now as you notice that uh, there are two j terms which means these two are the imaginary part and this is the real part. So it, in finding out the phase crossover frequency we need to separate the real part from the imaginary part which is equal to 1 by minus 3 omega square plus j omega into 1 plus 1 uh, minus um, 2 omega square. So this is my real part and this is my imaginary part. So to find out uh, the phase crossover frequency, I'm going to use this space. I have the terms, I have the required terms, I have the real part and I have the imaginary part. And now, to find out the phase crossover frequency, which is omega PC, it is required that the imaginary part of G of J omega is equal to zero. So here, as we can see, the imaginary part of G of J omega is j omega into 1 minus 2 omega square. So, uh, instead of, uh, so now, um, which means, uh, let us write that, 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 that thing down here, omega into 1 minus 2 omega square is equal to 0. Right. So, the imaginary part is 0. The imaginary part of g of j omega is equal to 0. So, in our case, the imaginary part is omega into 1 minus 2 omega square is equal to 0. Right? So omega into 1 minus 2 omega square is equal to 0. So um, chance 1 is omega is equal to 0. So uh, because we know in our case the phase crossover frequency this is not equal to 0. So we rule out this case. So 1 minus 2 omega square is equal to 0 which means omega square is equal to minus 1 by 
uh, 2, which is minus omega squared, so plus n plus. So omega is equal to 1 by root 2. Um, now you need to tell me this. Um, Wait a minute. Okay, so that is um, zero point seven zero seven. So we have our uh, phase crossover frequency, omega PC, is equal to zero point seven zero seven radians per second. There we go. So now we need to find out the gain margin. So to find out the gain margin, we are going to use our phase crossover frequency. Now, step two. So in order to find out the gain margin, uh, Kg, we know that Kg is equal to 1 by G of J omega, where omega is equal to omega pc which is your phase crossover frequency so just substitute the phase crossover frequency in the g of j omega so also we know that we are not taking the imaginary part because this is the phase crossover frequency this part is anyway zero we know it so g of j omega term is only minus one by three omega square so that is exactly what we write 1 by g of j omega is 1 by minus 3 omega square. So, and where omega is equal to 0 0.707. So now, just simplify this. Uh, this is, since this is the magnitude, you can ignore the sign. And uh, because this is in a denominator, you can directly write it as 3 omega square, where omega is equal to 0 0.707. Now, on simplifying that, um, put omega, I need this again, um, okay, that will be equal to 3 into 0 0.707 square, which is equal to 1.5. So now, um, this is the value of kg, kg is 1.5. But uh, when we are actually talking about body plot, we want everything in terms of decibels. So if you want this in terms of decibels, you need this. Gain margin in decibels is equal to 20 log kg. So there we go. 20 log 1.5 which is equal to 3.5 decibels so now we have our gain margin as 3.5 decibels so let me just rewind this all up first uh, for using uh, for finding it using the formula we have the transfer function g of s the first step is putting s is equal to j omega. So by putting s is equal to j omega, we get g of j omega. Now simplify all that uh, expression such that you get one real part and one imaginary part. And next, step two, is we know that at the phase crossover frequency, g of j omega's imaginary part is equal to zero. So here, the imaginary part, whatever we have, which is omega into 1 minus 2 omega squared, is equal to 0. So we know omega phase crossover frequency, we don't take it 0. So the other part is 0, which gives us the phase crossover frequency 0 0.707 radians per second. So now, the step 3 is finding out the gain margin. Kg is one the reciprocal of g of j omega at the frequency 
of omega pc which is a phase crossover frequency so now just take the real part you needn't write the imaginary part because the imaginary part is anyway zero so uh, on simplifying that you get kg which is your gain margin but since you want the gain margin in decibels you need to talk, take it as 20 log kg so that will give you the gain margin and you your phase crossover frequency so thank you for watching and have a lovely day ahead if you have an exam all the very very best and nail it